All right. So, um, yeah, I, um, you know, well, I'm standing at the moment. Um, I've been um, doing the exercises. And at first I started, you know, doing both sides. And I did that about three times up and down the unit two, right? A, A to F. And unit A, I did, of course, the first unit one I did, I think, quite a few times. Mm-hmm. And unit two, I did both sides, and I realized my left was getting worse. And then I saw that this was back in, uh, I don't know, September, October or something. Mm-hmm. And I saw that I should do just what I feel comfortable with and I thought yeah I think it's just the right side I should work on so I worked on only the right and that I did up and down like four times I think and I'm much better and like you said I think it is mainly probably now just the sacrum and there wasn't like I mentioned in my email there was um, you know interference and literally yeah all those things were just staying there. They weren't changing, even though I was doing your exercises. And now I've done some energy work and literally things have just loosened up, you know. So now I can feel clearly, like before I couldn't even feel very clearly because all the muscles were so tight. But now I can feel clearly, yeah, I think it is it is the sacrum um, that's giving me the problem. And I think once that's straightened, hopefully I should be fine. Okay. Well, a couple of things just from what you said. You're aware that you're supposed to check your sacral position each time you practice? Yes, yes, I know. Uh, Um, Yeah, sorry, go ahead. And it does make a difference. You should not be doing both sides. You should be doing the side called for. When you have a twist in the sacrum, that means that you have a bias or an asymmetry. Uh Uh-huh. And if you do the exercises symmetrically, you're just maintaining the bias. Or the asymmetry. Right. Yeah, that's what I guess was what I was doing in the beginning. Yes, the first three times. Okay. Um, Yes. And then the ones that are asymmetrical instruction are unit two A and D. Okay. B, C, E, and F are symmetrical. Okay. So when you have an asymmetry... You do Uh the side in A or section D according to which side is deeper, and that will take you straighter and straighter. I see. Sorry. So you said A and D are um, asymmetrical? Right. They're designed to twist you to untwist you. Okay. Because you're twisted. So you do a counter twist. Okay. And that's what those exercises do. They reverse the twist gradually with each practice a little further. All right. Okay. Um, now, I think, yeah, the thing was, you know, because my left was feeling, uh, was really feeling pulled. It was a funny feeling. But anyway, it's gone now. Um, I couldn't use even the left side for the past few months. I could hardly use my left for anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, so now I will try and do the left. I've pretty much done the right for the past six months, I'd say. Okay. And Here's another thing that I hear from people. That uh-huh. they, they choose the side according to where the pain is. No, no, that's right. No, even you told me, and also the uh, you know chiropractor and body worker, everybody told me my right side was the one that was tight. The left mm-hmm. was painful. Yeah, but this, so this was... Awesome. Yeah, that's actually the relaxed side, and my right was really working hard. Mm -hmm. So I did more the right because, I mean, the right, actually, you're right. Right is not painful at all. I can use the right. I've always been using my right. Mm -hmm. But that's the one I'm exercising. Okay. But do the hands-on self-check each time, and whichever side feels deeper to the fingertips is the side that is the working side in the exercise. Yes, I think that is pretty much my only confusion. All the other things, you know, in your, even in your regimen, they're very clear and they're very, I mean, I understand them. Mm-hmm. This one I'm having a bit of a tough time because when I feel with the fingertips, um, you know, it's a little, um, like sometimes, in the beginning I think it was a lot more and now it's a little difficult to tell 
which side is deeper. And I was thinking maybe I've done it so long. And then, you know, by let's say, I'll give an example. So let's say a few days I was doing unit two mm. and I thought, okay, it seems like it's the right. So I kept doing the right, let's say six or seven days. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I felt I could literally, like, I could, rather than my fingers, I can, I could feel it more because what happens is, you know, I start getting water retention. I can't go really much to the washroom. And the other thing was also, you know, inside, like I can feel, I can literally feel the sacrum moving kind of thing. And it would feel stuck on the left. And then if I did it, you know, a couple of days on the left, and then it would feel almost centered. And then there were a couple of days I'd be like, it's so centered. I don't even want to touch it. And I just do the rest of unit two, yeah. you know. So, so that's where I'm all confused, I think. Well, I think you're actually correct. Strange to be correct and be confused about being correct. <laughs> okay. Some people are so unused to being correct that when they're correct, they feel confused. <laughs> okay, I guess that's me, huh? So when you can't tell which side is deeper, you, you don't do the asymmetrical movements, A or D. You do only the symmetrical movements. Ah, all right. Okay. Okay, that's good to know. By the way, I put in some new introductory material into the regimen. Okay. So there are videos that didn't used to be there. Be a good idea to view them whenever you see you haven't seen something before. Right, right. Okay. Yes, I've been trying to do that. You've really been updating it. Thank you so much, actually, first of all, really. It's been, this is the only thing that's worked for me. And, you know, it's very important, the support I had from you. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's thank you really. Um, because yeah, anything else, it just felt like what is this problem? Nobody on earth knows about it, kind of thing, right? So really, yeah, thank. It's a funny thing. Uh, I had to have the condition in order to create the regimen for it. Right, right. So yeah. Everybody gets the benefit of the ordeal that I went through. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At least that. Well. Yeah, so I appreciate that. Thanks. Uh, I'm glad to hear you're doing well with it. Yes, it's really good. So I'm going to try this now. So, okay. So if I feel centered, then I should not do A or D, but right. then I can do B, C, E, and F, right? Exactly. Well, the other thing with A is also, in fact, I think, you know, because it says that the shallow side, you know, unit A section, to, uh, unit um, like the A has part one and two. And the second one, I don't think I've ever done because it, I think it means, it says that do this, that's for the shallow side, which means my left side, I thought. And I couldn't really lift that at all, you know, so I haven't done that. Is that right? Mm, well, you come back to it. You Eventually. come back to it because you need both the A and B, the first, you need both exercises, I mean, A and B, the first and second exercise in section A. Okay. One is, works through, from the front and the core, and the other works from the back and the surface. Okay. So if you haven't been able to do it, that means that you're not together well yet. Right. So they're okay. complementary. And by the way, if, if you're not voiding, if you're not uh, emptying yourself of water right. well, then you need the what's in Section A. Section A is about the core, and one of the symptoms is a feeling of grip around the bladder. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and that is why you need both sections or both exercises of Section A. Uh-huh. <clears throat> okay. Particularly the walking into the floor movement. That's the one that addresses most directly the feeling of grip at the lower abdomen and a sense of trouble around the bladder. I see. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Walking into the floor I've done. I've been doing. Okay. And just the part two is, I think, where, I don't know what it's called because I've never done it. Lazy but eights. Yes. Yes, that's right. Lazy eights. Yeah, that's the one that I haven't been able to do. Okay. Now oh. here's, a, are you open for a little tip? A little clue, a secret. Okay. All right. So if you can't lift one side, mm -hmm. lift the other side 
to notice what it feels like. Then go back to the first side you couldn't lift and locate the same locations that you felt on the side you could lift. Okay, so let's say I cannot lift my left side. Yes. So I should try lifting the right side and see how that feels. Notice where the movement comes from. Okay. And then find the same place for your left side. Uh-huh. So take what's working on the, call it the good side. Okay. And f transfer it or find it on the troubled side. Ah, okay, all right. Okay. And then try and do it that way. Mm-hmm. And don't do a lot on the good side. Do enough just to locate where the movement comes from. Mm-hmm. It's like a cut and paste operation. Yes, or okay. Or copy and paste, rather. You're copying what's on the right side and pasting it onto the left side. Ah, uh, all right. Okay, that's good. And then, um, you know, just because... I thought I didn't know really much what I was doing. Well, I mean, how much I should do. Because mm -hmm. I'm thinking like I've done, you know, four times. So, like, according to you, how much more do you think I should need to do? Like another two, three times? A to F? I can't no. really know. Everybody's unique. Some people change very quickly. Some people take a long time because of the severity of their condition. Right. So the one thing I can say is follow the practice guidelines for the number of days in each section. Yes, that I've been doing very good. Okay, that's very good then. <laughs> because we want yeah. to keep the amount of change from the different exercises comparable to each other. We don't want anything to get too far ahead. Ah, we okay. want to move the whole system right. together. And that reminds me of another thing. Um, you know, I've had, like, you know, well, let's say, okay, I've been doing uh, very well. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, I do, let's say, A, B, C, D, E, F, and I've been able to do every day. And then I would get to a point where I'm like, okay, my body's like, okay, stop, you know. And then I would stop for a week or 10 days or whatever. And my body is just there. And then by itself, you know, it's something like I would do some movement and that would trigger changes. And then the changes would happen, and then I'd be like, okay, now I can go back and do some more. There you go. So I think I should just follow that, right? Like, just follow what my body is. Yeah, that's right. Listen to your feelings. Right. Okay. The reason I've put the power walks Yes. is that they integrate the change, and they show you what's left to do. All right. That reminds me of another thing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, my main problem now, like I've come a long way. I remember like, I, I even remember when I started doing your, you know, these things, I would just do the spine waves and I would fall asleep. Mm -hmm. And so the whole thing used to take me like three hours to do because then I would wake up after an hour and then do the rest. But I remember I used to be so tight. But now I can do the whole regimen, no problem. Mm -hmm. But now what I'm left with, or, or the feeling that I think we're, I think that's with the sacrum. But as I walk, like for the past couple of years, I've been just walking. I walk, you know, little steps. I walk straight. So I cannot do diagonal march. Like I do now. Now I can do more. Like before I couldn't go kitty corner, but now I can. Mm -hmm. But um, even, but walking straight, like long strides, I cannot do that. Like yesterday I thought, oh, I can take a long stride with just the right side. But that, I think, yeah, got my sacrum really twisted today. But I think, like, if I take shorter strides, then I'm kind of walking straight, 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 and I'm fine. Mm -hmm. So when I'm going for a power walk, I should, what should I try to do? Like, should I just walk as, as much as I can, or should I try to go longer strides so that it kind of works the sacrum? There will, well, we're not, don't do it to work the sacrum. Do okay. it for the feeling of good walking. Okay. So if you can't take long strides, take shorter strides. That will okay. change naturally as you integrate. Right. So don't strive for long strides. It won't serve you. Don't force. It will come by itself. All right. Okay. We use the walking to integrate changes. Uh-huh. 
because walking is about the most integrative movement that a human can do. Yes. I never knew it was so complicated until you explained it in the whole thing, the shoulders and the pelvis and everything, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's amazing how many people walk so poorly. And it's, yeah. and it's also typical of the of the elderly that oh, yeah. they don't walk in a saunter. A saunter is where there's a balanced swing. Mm-hmm. Instead, they walk the way a, a person moves a refrigerator. They oh. tip it to one side and then move it forward and then tip it the other side, move it forward. So mm. the right and left sides don't crisscross. Instead, they move as separate units. Uh-huh. Not so good. Right. But the, the walks in the regimen reestablish that more graceful walking pattern. Yeah. And in terms of doing more or less, you work within your comfort zone. Okay. That means be moderate. Uh-huh. As soon as it becomes a, a labor to keep going, you know you've reached a limit. Yes. Yeah, that's true. I've been doing that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I feel that actually. I could walk when I was doing our exercise. I could walk more. Lately, I couldn't because of that whole interruption. But I think hopefully now I'm going to start again today, I think, with the regimen again. I stopped doing the regimen while I was doing this energy work. It didn't make sense, you know. Mm. So now I'm going to start again. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So I think then. Okay. So I guess I'm at least I'm in the working the right way. I know because I feel uh, so much better overall. So Mm -hmm. we're going the right way. Mm -hmm. And... um, yeah, that should be it. The only other thing is, you know, I still, like, I, I only, well, it might not be a question for you, but I just, I really need to, you know, I haven't been able to wear jeans or anything with buttons, you know, like, I just wear pants, like the track pants, yoga pants, mm-hmm. even those that are not too tight, because does, because I think that's the whole sacrum thing, right? It, like, it bothers it. If I wear anything a little bit tight, mm-hmm. it, it just bother me more. I think now I'm a bit better. Yeah, that's to be expected. <clears throat> that was also my experience. Yeah. Uh, I didn't. I didn't like wearing my trousers. Right. Because it would make my abdomen feel just uncomfortable. Yes. And I think also the back. Like actually, that's the other funny thing. Oh yes. I have a lot of questions for you. Sorry. Um, in the beginning, you know, I had even I didn't even have a clue that it was my back because all everything felt right in the middle, kind of in the abdomen, more in the abdomen. And I kept, you know, telling everybody it's my abdomen has some problem. And doctor was even checking my joints and stuff. Um, but and and even after I started doing the regimen, a lot most of the time I just it was the abdomen. I you know I kept feeling. But I, I just knew that, you you know, you knew you had the problem. So I kept doing the regimen. And now, finally, um, the rest of me feels fine. And now I can just feel the back, the lower back. I think that's kind of the sacrum. So mm-hmm. so I think that that it's working out all the issues. And now I'm fine with just the back, right? So it just fixed the back, I think, and I should be better. Well, you can't really go by symptoms but alone. That's why there's the self-examination. The back muscles tighten up when the sacrum is not centered. It's twisted to one side. Then there's a stress that communicates to the low back muscles. It can be severe enough in some people that the disc herniates. How do I know this? Because of people that I'm coaching. And they told me, oh, I have this herniated disc situation. And what they've really got is a twisted sacrum. And right. because I had those sensations in my low back, I used to be uncomfortable and always kind of like popping myself. Oh, wow. See, to get some, it was not very effective, but it's right. what I felt like I wanted to do. Likewise, if you're feeling it in the back, the regimen itself addresses the back musculature. Okay. It's possible that you have some, I don't know how else to say it, habituation that is a habit formation of the back muscles being tight, which didn't come from the twisted sacrum. <laughs> Very common among people to have back trouble without a twisted sacrum. Yeah. And uh, in that case, then the person should be doing the get free from back pain program, 
<laughs> which, by the way, I recommend that people do at the end of their use of the regimen, that they right. do the SOAS program and the BAC program from beginning to end to integrate right. themselves better. Right. So I will do that once. Yeah, you, you said in the regimen, I think once I'm completely free of this problem, right? Of these mm -hmm. symptoms, at least. Um, so after, so I should keep doing unit two kind of until I feel centered. And then when should I start unit three? When you can't feel any further changes from unit two. Yeah. I know you if, said you, if you're improving from unit two, why rush to unit three? Keep improving okay. until there's... Uh, the improvements get smaller and smaller. And you okay. find that you're basically much, much more comfortable than you were before. The combination of those two, improvements getting tinier and tinier, and you're basically mostly comfortable, go to Unit 3. If you need more Unit 2, symptoms will surface when you're doing Unit 3. As a signal, go back and do more Unit 2. Very similar to what you were doing anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, because I did, you know, when all that energy started interfering, I even tried unit three a bit and I said, no, 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 this is not it, you know. So, yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay. Um, okay, so come keep doing unit two. So unit two, sorry, a question again. So, yeah, in the beginning I had done both sides, you know, and then I realized, no, 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 I should do more of the right. Well, not do, basically not do whatever hurts, and so I didn't do that. And now I should keep doing still I'll do, you know, what doesn't hurt, and then I should do as much I can of both sides, right? As long as the sacrum is positioned that you can't tell which side is deeper, right? do the exercise patterns B, C, and E, and F, not the asymmetrical A, a and D. D. But oh. as, if you feel, start feeling one side is deeper, then yes. do the sections that address the twist. Which are A and D. Right. Okay. See, A and D address the twist, and then B and C are integration movements. Right. Yeah, I like those, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, and... for that matter, uh, C and F are integration movements. So you, you get some change, then you mm -hmm. integrate. Then you get some more change, then you integrate some more. You get some more change, integrate some more. Right. Okay. okay. And so do you, like, you know how earlier I was doing A, B, C, D, E, and F, maybe right now I, I should not do, just just keep doing, like, the whole thing. I should feel if it's centered, then do A, D. If it's not centered, then do B, C, E, F. Oh, sorry, the other way around. The other way around, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'll try that. So that's a new thing. Okay. So I think that hopefully does it answer. I think pretty much answers all my questions, right? Well, maybe you want to sit for a moment and allow any other question to surface. <laughs> sure. Yeah, you know, actually sitting reminds me. I can only sit on a chair pretty much. Like I cannot sit on the bed and I cannot sit pretty much anywhere else. Just a flat surface, you know. So that I'm sure is all. Yeah, I never realized this part is just so central to the whole body. And you really need it for everything, right? Exactly. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think the main thing was basically just feeling the sacrum. And yeah, so both by touching with the fingers and feeling how I feel, because you you think you said I was kind of right, but I was confused, I think. So even like I can feel the sacrum, so that, that, that should be how it is, right? Well, you examine the sacrum by touch, and then there is a seated yes. self-check. That's yes. just before doing... The reciprocity movements. That's right too. Actually, even that one I can't quite tell because I know, yeah, it's you know the left, like one side shouldn't be able to move so much forward as the other one. Yeah. And even that I'm not too sure, but I think it's because I should be looking for small movements, and I think I'm looking for bigger ones, right? So smaller. Well, that may be, yeah. Well, that definitely, the sacrum uh, with the sacrum, a millimeter is a lot of displacement. If right. one feels deeper by a millimeter, that's a lot. So small, yes. Likewise, the sitting self-check before yes. reciprocity. Yeah, you just notice which knee moves fa further forward and faster. It goes uh -huh. further forward a little faster than the other side. 
and that the the side that doesn't move as far forward or go slower is the jammed side. It's already too far forward. And so to make it go even more forward, it doesn't want to. I see. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. Okay. So more, I think, well, yeah, I think I can just feel it. Because right now it is difficult to say probably which side goes more, like the sacrum twist more to the left or to the right. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, like, um, usually I always, I mean, I always feel the pain kind of on the left side of the sacrum. Like, you know, my left mm -hmm. where the, the ilia and the thing meet. Yes. The ilium and the, the meat. It's usually always the left where I feel the pain. That seems to be typical. Where the jam side doesn't move much. Okay. And the one that moves much more because it has to do the movement for both sides uh -huh. is the one that gets sore. So if you're jammed on the right, we would expect the left to be sore. Uh, okay. All right. Or more sore. More sore. And that's the tighter one because when I asked the physiotherapist, you know, about this jamming forward and she's like, oh, I can't say anything else. All I can tell you is that your left side is tight. Like, you know, she could touch the that part that where it meets the sacrum and the ilium. And, and she said this, the left side is really tight and they kind of did a bit of a massage there. And I don't know how much that would have helped, you know. But. I, I had the suspicion that the benefit of massage there comes not from the muscles, but from the pressure. Uh -huh. which induces the high or surface side of the sacrum to move forward a bit. Oh. And it, it's an indirect way of untwisting, and it doesn't free the compression at the jammed side. So the right. jammed side doesn't really want to change position, even though they're getting the other side to change position. That's why there's unit one, is to unjam things enough that they can move. Uh-huh. That's what unit one is doing. So unit one, now I should, I only do now a couple of times because I think in the beginning I was doing a lot more of it. But well, you know, go by feel. When you notice that you're getting benefit from it, uh -huh. like each repetition you feel something let go a little more, well, then continue. Okay. Yeah, the other thing is, you know, I, with any of the things that I do with the regimen, usually I don't feel the change right away. Mm -hmm. um, usually, uh, you know, after I've gone for a walk, even or even let's say later in the day, that's when I feel the change, you know? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. And for me, it used to be sometimes I would feel more sore right at the waist and back immediately after practice. Then I'd take a walk. And then two hours I, later, I would notice that not only wasn't I as sore, but I was actually less sore than before I did the practice. Uh -huh. So there, as you, you described, yeah, a delayed reaction. I had a similar thing. Okay. Yeah, I usually have a delayed, you know, and then I can feel, okay, mm -hmm. this is what I did today, and that's how it affected me. Much later, much later, though. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I should just keep going by feel and doing all that. And um, thank you. Yeah, you replied to my email, so I have, um, you know, a bit of guidance from you. And, um, yeah, I'll keep at it, and hopefully I'll be there soon. Oh, well, I hope so, too. <laughs> it's my wish that everybody proceed quickly. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't rushing before, but just now I have a thing coming, but even that's fine, you know. I have to go for this. I haven't been working because of this problem, but now I'm going to start, and I have to go for a training. Mm -hmm. So hopefully I'll be fine. You know, anyway, I'll continue with the exercises, too. So, um, yeah, thanks. I think that really is it. Um, yeah. There's nothing else that you can think of, right, that I'm missing or no. no. I, I seem to be doing okay. Yeah. Okay, thanks. That's appreciated. Yeah, because, you know, I mean, I really think you are the only one who knows this problem, really. All right. Um, yeah. That's the big thing. That's the big thing where, you know, now I know when to do AD and BC and F, and mm -hmm. um, that's about it, really. Okay. Yes, yes. Thank, thank you. you.
And then I'm sure when I'm all better, then I'll touch base with you again so that I can do next. I will do the source and the back relief. I've already downloaded those as well. Mm -hmm. So I will follow those up. But um, And I'll let you know. Once I get all better, I will really send you thank you again. Okay, very good. Thanks. All right. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>